It's troll hammer in time! Rats, we rats, we're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night, we're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of troll we can get ourselves into. Rats, we're rats, we're the rats. We pray at night, we stalk at night. We are the rats. Welcome back to V2, baby. You can be sure this even will give us Why can I not walk through that? What is, what is that? That is that is bizarre. So we're returning to Karakaz Garage today. New DLC is out. It is free to all V2 owners. And to mark the occasion, figured it might be fun to play the Master Engineer because we've got. Dude, I still can't run through this. What is what? <laughs> Stop it! Figured it might be fun to uh, bring out the old crank gun. Gatling down some people, am I right? We got the troll hammer torpedo, we got the Gatling gun. Got the dual hammers for a little bit of space and effective dodge count. Talent build was hopefully included in the beginning of the video with my editing. I remember to do it. Are playing on Kato right now. But I am a bit rusty, which means that playing Master Engineer may not be the best idea. Because this dude is a squish ball, even with a blade of armor. Holy shit. What the problem is? And not only is he squishy, but with the build I'm running, half the game it feels like you have your crank gun out. So you are especially susceptible to being shivved in the butthole by a little slave rat. Which, I mean, if you're... Sub to Skaven slaves may not be the worst thing in the world for you, but for normal people. <laughs> not really my fetish. This is one of my favorite things to do in the game. Get a trickle horde in a choke point and just mow them all down with a crank gun. It does not get tiring. And I'm super glad that Touchdark decided to finally bring these maps back. I really love the Asgaraz DLC. I think it's maybe the best piece of content they've ever done for any of their games, V1, V2, or Darktide. In terms of additional DLC, obviously, I'm not gonna compare it to the base game. But yeah, these are definitely some of my favorite runs in the entire series. Really well-constructed maps, fun events, gorgeous aesthetics and atmosphere. And as I've said many times in the past, I do love me some snow maps. I have been hearing rumors that the events on this particular map in Chasm Crow, Chain of Fire, are all quite a bit harder than they were in V1. I guess we will verify the uh, veracity of that claim, shall we? Hair pack, but I don't know where he is. I think the first real test we're gonna have is up top in this coming first event. I don't think Trollhammer is all that great. I don't think it's like horrendous or anything. It's definitely usable. I find it fun, which is why I'm running it here. It's fun and thematic for sure, and it's very unique. 
not a lot of range weapons in the game that provide this kind of uh, explosive output, but, I mean, naturally, you lose out on a lot of sniping potential, and specials are by far the biggest threat in the game, so when you only have 10 shots and you can't abuse Scrounger in the way you used to be able to, it's just not as good. I do remember when the weapon first came out, making that vid for just unlimited control hammer torpedo ammo, exploding block bosses and patrols without worrying about your ammo at all is real fun. Thank you, sir. It's been a while since those times. I don't know when this, when the troll hammer even came out. Was it like 2019? It was a while ago, 2020? It was a while ago. The one thing it's really good at doing, I'm going down plate monks. The crank gun, that is. Don't like that. There is a sorrow deep within these stones, Mayflies. I can't bear to see it like this. So I haven't been paying too much attention to the narrative of this DLC yet. But I've like kind of been half listening. It seems like this lady is an ancestor goddess. I don't know if it's Leia or not. But Barton's hearing voices. I think he was also talking about in the Kazakh Chrome app about like bringing his daughter along. Like he's imagining he's next to his daughter or his ancestor god. I don't know. It's something like that. Like there's a... Like he thinks there's a sixth person with them. Instead of being the Uber Strike 5 or 4, it doesn't matter. That's kind of how they've been handling all these DLCs for this game, like, narratively, is everything's just imagined. It's very strange. It's like, well, we feel a little bit pigeonholed because we can't have them go wherever we want them to, so magic, or going insane, or it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. There isn't a whole lot of, like, actually doing these things. It's just all... Imagine. It's weird. <laughs> weird from an era perfecter. I'm fine, because I, I like this kind of variety. I like going places, but... If they want to say, like, Oh yeah, I had a nightmare. I went to Lustria and fought dinosaurs and planned pestilence. I'd be totally cool with it. It wouldn't bat an eye. I'd be excited. Oh, that would have been so sick. Really wanted to nail that not from downtown. Dude, we've got less range than a quadriplegic fucking baseball pitcher. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Like, we're actually sorely lacking on a special sniping potential here, which is... I guess kind of a problem, because, uh... It is Kata. We have two full-on dedicated melee heroes, and the other two melee character or range characters are not really able to deal with six or seven specials on screen. I mean, she can lift them, which is good, but you just don't have a lot of follow-up to that. Probably stand to like not have a Grail Knight or not have a Warrior Priest instead. Have like a bounty hunter or something, a crossbow, which hunter captain. That is a lot of storm vermin. Oh. But then again, warrior priest. Coming in clutch. Thanks, sir. I like that, getting full HP again. It's a really fun ability. Oh, this is actually getting bad. 
Oh, this event is wild! I'm going up top. What the fuck? I'm just gonna hold the top of the ladder! Oh my god, poor Blocka. He's been flying for the last hour and a half. Dude. <laughs> Go up here, boys! <laughs> you didn't think I'd get you, did you, Kruber? I saw the doubt in your eyes. Well. We lost our boy. So interesting developments. We're on Legend now, not Kata. New game. Couldn't find a Kata game, kind of annoying. Actually, surprisingly had a lot of issues finding full lobbies today. Only played a couple and had problems with it. But, um, yeah, so in the last game, uh, me and Blaka, who I'm friends with, invited two of his friends, and I said, like, hey, I'm recording. We could, like, not drop end bombs or anything like that. Just a heads up, just so you know. <laughs> no gamer words, please. Uh, try to help protect me if I can, because I'm squishy, what have you. It's kind of. want to make sure I got a good gameplay, whatever. They're like, cool. And then one of the players drops the C bomb in the middle of the gameplay. I say, like, dude, like I'm recording. Can you not do that? What the hell? And then they double down. They're like, why don't you just edit it out, bro? It's like, I mean, it's like a very reasonable request. Like, how about we not say like super offensive words? Like, I don't care if you drop the F bomb a couple times in the heat of the moment. It's whatever. But like, there are some words. That are like a little bit, well, way more likely to get a video demonetized. Just like, don't say those. I bet you can play a full gameplay without saying the C word. <laughs> Apparently, it was hard for him. So there was pushback from them, and I said, "All right, I don't want to play these guys anymore." And we're now playing with pubs. If you want to say those words, feel free to say them all the time. It's whatever. But if I give you a warning beforehand and say, like, "Hey, please don't do that for my gameplay," appreciate it. And you still want to do it, then... I mean, it's like our lobby, right? Like, don't hijack my lobby that we invited you to, not the other way around. Anyway. Fun little interaction. <laughs> and now I'm in danger! Like, there's also an attempt from one of them to, like, make fun of me trying to monetize the video. Like... He's trying to monetize, bro. He's got like four subs. Like, no, dumbass. I have 200,000. Uh, yes, I do make a living from YouTube. So, yes, I am trying to monetize. <laughs> to be fair, the time and Dark Tide videos do not make a whole lot of money. <laughs> they really don't. I am mostly making it for fun. But I would like a little bit of sandwich money for my efforts, you know? You know what I'm saying? I mean. Holy crap. I'd love to shoot. Oh my. Dude, I hate that. I hate that. It's one reason why Vermintide's melee combat is so much more unforgiving than Dark Tide's, actually. Yeah, the skate, the ice skating and the sliding for sure, but. Man, some of those phantom hitboxes. Where they clearly did not hit you. Still hitting you from super far away. Not my favorite. Bruh. Let me shoot. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> that's really cinematic looking, actually. YOLO! We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. 
They made this area a lot more dangerous. You'll understand when you're older. Ah, is that so? You don't change. All your breath to explain. Yeah, like, what is that? Is he talking to his daughter? Why does she sound like she's 800? <laughs> like, I'm definitely missing something. Like, does, is he hearing his daughter's voice, but... But everyone else hears it like it's an ancestor god? I'm very confused. What is the story? Because you would you would not say you'll understand when you're older to an ancestor god. So it doesn't make any sense. Ow. Really? <laughs> Thanks, Warrior Priest. <laughs> Appreciate it. It was like 10 seconds too late, but I like the effort. I like the idea. Surely no one will shank me. They shanked me. <laughs> I didn't know where they were coming from. I thought they might have all been coming from the stairs. Burton's great at that, man. It really is. You can literally look behind you for 20 minutes and nothing will be there. And then the second you turn your back, shiv in the butt. Cursed Rune is such a good map. The mountain's resources now belong to the Skaven, but hopefully... Oh, a bunch of dead Rogers in here. And there's the bomb. Give it a shove, would you? It's not doing any good there. Oh, oh with an assassin to I guess there's nothing in enemies tunnels. This is new. All the masks I've played so far have been very, very similar to their V1 counterparts, but there are like a few twists and turns that are different. The events are definitely harder. Events are definitely more dangerous. It actually feels like that first events on Cursed Rune might be pretty damn hard in pubs on Kata. If you got an organized group, I think you're fine. Yeah, that's brutal. Cool. Skaven coming out of the walls. Always love that. Say hello to my little friend. Does Arnold say anything when he has the Gatling gun? Is that when he says get to the chopper? Or is that when he says if it bleeds we can kill it? 
Or does it just go? Don't <laughs> get shooting. A lot of great quotes in that movie, but I don't know when he busts them out. I don't remember. It's been a while. But I'm not gonna go over there. I don't know what's happening. I'm gonna go up top. I imagine there might be like a grim location or something back there. I'm not too worried about books right now. Now this event was pretty crazy. This finale was pretty crazy in V1. Back in the day. Ratty plan? Meet us. Should be exciting. If you can shutter the chains, you'll be able to reach the bomb. Don't ask Al. Tormund? I like surprises. Yeah, that's more or less what I was thinking too. Determined sword, ain't you? Oh, oh, very much. Well, Loner's talking to her, which makes me think. Maybe she's real? And just like a normal dwarf? lady I don't know man so we'll break it down for me maybe I don't want to know I think I want to know Bill hammers are real good I was rocking Great Axe a bit today, and I really like it. I think it's a more satisfying weapon to use, but I don't think there's any question. It's it can struggle a bit on Kata because your dodge, your effective dodge count and range is bad. It's not that safe. Dual hammers are super safe and crazy temp HP generation, which Great Axe also lacks. Events like this, Engineer kind of crumbles a bit compared to most other classes in the game. If you're going one way, you can funnel a horde, it's awesome. Character can be really, really good. But definitely one of the weaker characters when you've got events like this, enemies coming from all sides, no real time to charge up your gun. If this was Kata, this would be probably a lot worse than it is right now. I've still got some time to... Do my flux capacitator stacking. Keep it at five stacks, but there'd be a lot more plague monks and more storm vermin if this is kata. a bit about which difficulty I like more in Vermintide, though. Like, Kata is obviously a better challenge, and I do like challenges. In Dark Tide, unequivocally, 100% damnation is the way to go. Playing on Heresy at this point is just not super fun for me. I feel like there are parts of, um, of combat. You get infinite shooting here for a second. I feel better on Legend than Kata in V2. Enemies are a bit less spongy. You can cut storm vermin and stuff in half. Oh, I need to get out of here. Holy crap. I think there are parts of Legend and Kata that I like. He's going to pick up the bot. That's interesting. Uh, it's not the way. Where do I go? Oh. That'll work. Exact same way in V1. As V1. 
Not a whole lot being spawned right now, which is a bit weird. No sense hanging around. Grab some kit, and we'll get the rest sorted. We're almost there, boys. When we gather ourselves. All right. I admit that you've done better than I expected. You're a good team. Oh, I'm versatile. It's not a secret. Some of us are just stuck. Is that Sienna? It sounds like Sienna's voice actress. We're not being told what to do by Sophia, are we? Sienna's sister? That would be weird. Oh my god, Loner's a necromancer now! Fine, I guess I'll save the Wotelgi. That, my friends, is a fun run. Enjoyed that. I really like Curse Room. Really like Kar Karak Asgaraz. Great DLC maps. Good stuff.